Several residents at an apartment complex on Columbus's northwest side are on edge tonight after multiple cars were broken into then set on fire early this morning. NBC4's Jonathan Jackson is at the complex. Jonathan, you spoke with some renters there and they're pretty concerned about this. Yeah, they most certainly are, Jen. If you take a look behind me, these are the where the parking lots are at the Highlands, where the Harper House at the Highlands, rather, where they've experienced several acts of arson and vandalism in just the past few days. And this community, well, they want to know who's responsible. Before heading into work, Columbus resident Rishi Kakarla tells me he's been keeping a closer eye on his vehicle. Right next to my car, so they uh, broke into it and took a wallet. Kakarla lives here at the Harper House at the Highlands, located on Sawmill Boulevard. Early this morning, multiple cars were set on fire in the parking lot, with tires being stolen off of one of them. And according to an email sent out from the apartment complex, at least four other acts of vandalism have occurred. Nothing has ever happened like this here. For fellow resident Emily White, seeing this string of thefts and arson has left her afraid for her own safety. And she wants to see a better security system in place for those who live here. This four cars are vandalized and that they're going to up the security at night and have more drivers around to protect the vehicles because there's a lot of money in here. Same goes for Kakarla, who says living in these apartment complexes isn't cheap. Paying this much of uh, top dollar here, so being here, it's like, uh, I don't think <laughs> it's a safe place. It's why he avoids leaving any valuables in the car and always locks his doors. But he says more needs to be done. I wish they, they would have like some gated community mm -hmm. and have key, key access or something. So that way this won't happen. Now we did speak with the apartment manager here, but they declined to go on camera or give us any comment. However, I also reached out to Columbus police. They said they are aware of this decrease in thefts and crimes and that they are looking to redeploy their forces accordingly. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Jonathan Jackson, NBC4.